Okay, so this next exercise is the single-sided suitcase deadlift. You can use a kettlebell or you, you can use a dumbbell. But the main thing is that, like imagine you have a suitcase in one hand. You're gonna hold it in one hand and you're gonna use your hips. All the techniques that apply to a traditional deadlift are gonna to apply to this. The benefit of doing this exercise is that you've got that offset weight, so it's kind of pulling you to the side. You've got to use your opposite core to offset it. So in a traditional deadlift, imagine you've got two, but you have one. You want to shoot the hips back and you want to keep the weight from coming forward. So, the, so as I shoot my hips back, I'm keeping my big toes on the ground, but I'm definitely hinging at the hip as I drive my hips back. Notice the angulation of my torso. It's coming forward, but it's not coming forward. I'm not bending from my waist. I'm bending from my hips, sitting back, get that about 45 degree angle in the, in the torso. But I want to, I want to imagine like I've got double belts, right? I don't want to deadlift like this. So you would do five to seven to eight reps per side, but I always like to squeeze the other fist so that the brain thinks I've got something over here, even though you don't have anything over here. So that's the suitcase deadlift. 